Hello Reloaders and welcome back to the channel. This is the CS 7.1 build series and today we're going to be covering the build or the assembly of the camera module. So let's get started. All right, the first thing we're going to do is connect our camera up to our computer and we're going to use the housing of the camera to focus it before we do the full install. So once I've placed it in the housing, I'll go ahead and switch my app over to use the camera and then I'll hold a piece of brass and I'm shooting for four millimeters off the top of the camera housing and I'm checking the focus in the app in the Windows default app. To focus the camera you have to break the wax seal which is a little bit hard at first but then you can start to rotate the camera uh, counterclockwise which allows it to focus in a little bit closer. So this is a trial and error and you just keep going until you get uh, it focused properly. And it's much easier to do it at this stage than after you've built everything out. So it looks like we have our camera focused and we'll move on to the next step. So we need to unroll our LED strip. And what we're going to do is take five segments off. This is the length we're going to need to wrap around the light diffuser. You need to use a tool that you can cut with that will cut a straight line. I will not use the clippers, instead I will use a pair of scissors. Cutting this line as straight as possible will help you on the next step, which is where we're going to solder up some wiring there. So at this point, I'm just going to put a little bit of solder on both the positive and negative leads. I put my iron down on the lead and just make a drop of solder. This will make it easier for us to solder the wires on. I just put the wire over the ball of solder and heat it up, let it sink in. We do that for both sides. Once we're done, we're going to want to double check to make sure those are good solder points. We don't want them coming off when we wrap this around the light ring. Now we're going to cut a piece of tape I use a uh, white electrical tape, but I'm going to cut it in half here and we're going to cut a length that can wrap around the light ring a couple times and this makes things much easier for us during the installation stage. So I'm going to set this tape aside for now and we're going to use that here in a little bit. What we want to do is wrap the light strip around the light ring. Wait a minute, what is that black mark doing on my light ring? Well. There is a good reason for it. You probably don't need it, but we'll talk about it later. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. And you'll notice there's a notch in the light ring. And what you'll want to do is make sure that you align those two wires in that notch. And you want to give it a little bit of room, uh, about a, I don't know, a centimeter or so, just so it's not making a tight angle on your solder connection. So you'll kind of hold this at, uh, finger tight and then we'll come back with our piece of tape and wrap her up. You really want to stretch that tape as tight as possible. When it's done it should look something like this. Purdy. So the next challenge is to put this light ring inside the camera housing. You'll see there's a little hole about 7 o'clock and you've got to run the wire through it. This might seem like an easy task for some, but for those of us who have huge sausage fingers, this can be quite challenging. Uh, we got it. So you'll see, as I pull this through, I didn't do a good job of aligning the notch with that hole, and so I'm going to have to rotate that camera body so that the notch in the bottom of the uh, light ring is aligned with that hole. So I'll use my trusty do-it-all tool and rotate it just a little bit so it's aligned. This helps keep our wires nice and straight. The next thing we're going to do is push those wires down into the recess that's been made in the camera body. And so you can see there's a recess in the bottom and then there's a recess in the wall and that's going to allow us to run the wiring around our camera module. 
So before we put that camera module in, we want to make sure the connector is tight, all the wires are connected well, because it's a little bit of a pain to do that after. Take note of where the pins are on the camera, because these stick out and you need to orient the camera so that those pins are in that recess where your wiring is. If you did it right, that wiring should just pop right around the camera. And now we're going to pull it across the body into the notch or the hole that's at the top of the camera body. And this allows us to have all our wiring coming out the same side when we install the fan. Now one problem we run into is that there's not much holding the camera in place. So I found a piece of this foam, probably came in one of my Amazon boxes. I'm just going to cut a little piece out trim it to the right size and stick it in there so that it holds the camera down flush against the bottom of the camera housing. A little bit of fumbling around, I get the foam cut to the right size and we're ready to put the fan cap on. And the fan will hold everything in. We want to make sure it's oriented correctly. So the blower needs to be aligned with the air hole in the camera housing, which means all the wiring should be together on one side. You'll notice that there's one long screw and three short screws in my set of four. And the long screw goes next to the power input there. As fate would have it, I lost the rest of that video. But let me tell you, all you missed was me fumbling with the world's smallest Allen wrench for about five minutes. So let's call it a blessing. Now it's time to hook up the camera and test it out and make sure we're getting a good picture. So the first thing I'm going to do is push that ring down, make sure it's seated properly. If we look at our camera image, you'll see that we have black all the way around the edges other than the reflections, which will go away. But one thing I did want to show you, after a little bit of pounding, I'm able to reproduce it. In the lower right corner now you can see a little white triangle. And this is the kind of thing we want to avoid. That white triangle is actually the light ring showing up on the camera. And if you recall, I mentioned we were going to talk about that black mark on the light ring. Well, this is that time. So you can see here as the camera protrudes above the light ring, because it's a 100 degree lens, it will pick up that light ring. And if you run into that situation where you just can't seat the light ring any deeper, what you can do is paint it. Use a Sharpie, put a ring around the edge, which will eliminate that problem. And finally, one last thing we need to test, and that's that the light ring is working. So here I just connected it to a five volt power source. And I can now evaluate the light ring and make sure oh, my ground wire slipped off. I just want to make sure that the light ring is actually lighting up and we're going to use uh, PWM uh, motor dimmer to dim this later. But we just want to make sure everything here is working and that's going to conclude the build for us. This might not have been the ending you were looking for but it's the ending you get. Thanks for following along and hope you enjoy this build. Adios my friends. I bet you thought we were done. Well I want to show you one more thing. So the camera is going to plug in to the base like so. And this now explains why the hole is on the side it's on because that allows easy wire management. All your wires are in one place. This time we're done for real. Have a great day.